simha we are referring to mangala right again for vrishchaka we are referring to chandra and for kumbha we are referring to what the yoga adibadi itself becomes the badaka adibadi right so here we are talking about what the yoga adibadi the bhagya adibadi itself becomes the badaka adibadi right which means you can apply it for rashis also but we are discussing for lagna because ultimately for the horoscope you are going to check the lagna right down they will have to struggle and advance in life they will have to struggle and advance in life write down this is good this is good which means since the badaga since the bhagya itself becomes badaga any struggle huge struggle that they actually take up in order to get advancement is good which means fame higher position foreign land big positions big positions means what government positions all of this becomes badaka for them right which means all of this becomes problematic for them which means if you take anybody who has a simha lagna vrishchaka lagna kumbha lagna rishabha lagna 45 years above more than 45 years it should literally squeeze them it should literally squeeze everything out of them which means only after so much of squeezing their life would start if they get anything fast which means if they get into a position fast if they get the ninth bhava fast then it automatically means there is a big problem associated with that this is the difference right so simha lagna vrishchaka lagna kumbha lagna rishabha lagna they would actually have to cross that middle age till that time life should squeeze them out but before middle age itself if they see some big success then it is going to lead to some big problem as they grow older this is the check mark here for a stree's horoscope for a stree's horoscope naturally you can close your eyes and blindly predict when you see a sthira lagna say that they will have problems associated with what their uterus any girl who has a sthira lagna will have this right so the base rule here for those who have sthira lagna is they should struggle in order to get the bhagya in life why because the bhagya adibadi itself becomes the badaka adibadi right again whenever somebody is coming to you with a horoscope the grahas in the sthira lagna will be the questions associated with this person or the questions that this person will ask which means if a graha is an asthira lagna in this person's horoscope you can come into a conclusion that the question is going to be based on this graha and based on the bhava that this graha owns why because tiram is always there with you it is always going to be with you it is permanent it is fixed so when you get a horoscope just like how we study the gochara rahu and you want to actually come into a conclusion that you know what could be his question what could be the question that this person is going to ask then automatically look at the grahas in the sthira lagna that will automatically go about and give you a complete clarity on what this question is going to be right that will be the question right which means first check in simha rashi which is the graha in vrishchaka rashi which is the graha in kumbha which is the graha kumbha which is the graha right that will be the question associated with that person again those who have sthira lagna let's say somebody is saying that you know what i want to go to australia i want to settle down in australia right their problem will be associated with that place only which means they will aspire why because the ninth bhava indicates what travel foreign travel right foreign travel so if this person's desire is to go to this country then automatically you know what would happen he won't get that country which he desires 
even if he gets that country that he desires, then there would be a problem associated in that country, right? Because the nine bhava, which indicates foreign land, which indicates foreign travel, automatically becomes the padaka. Again, if they are very stuck on that, you know what, I want only this type of position, then it won't come to them. It will only come to them very, very late. Many people who have the ninth bhava, which is what we are talking about the stira lagna here, right? Automatically, somewhere or the other, they won't get their promotion on time. They will put case for promotion. They will have problems with government, government bodies. Go and pay government penalties, dues to the government. Right? Cases, litigations associated with the land, associated with the government, all of this will come. Why? Because the ninth automatically indicates authorities. So you should be very, very careful. Right? Now, draw a Rashi Chakra and put Mars in any of the Stira Lagnas. You can put Mars in any of the Stira Lagnas. We can put Mars in any of the Stiralagnas. So let me put it in Vrishyama. Right? So here, all the Karakatvas of Mars, right? It will be delayed for him. Why? Because Mars is in the Kala Purusha's Stiralagna. For Stira, what happens? The ninth itself becomes Badaka, which means what? Now we have to consider. Mars and Rishabha itself like the Lagna. So since it is in Rishabha, right? and since for Rishabha the ninth becomes the Badaka, so whatever Bhagya, whatever he wants to get out of Mars will automatically have to be delayed. Why? Because Mars is in Stira. Which means here when we are talking about land, when we are talking about motor, property, electricity, vehicles, all of this automatically has to be delayed. Late will be better. So the question that they would have is, I'm not getting a property, sir. Or, I've bought a property, sir. In that property, there is a problem, sir. Why? Because the ninth from where the graha is becomes the pathaka. Which means if it comes early, it will create a problem. If it comes late, it will create a plus. This is all that you need to understand. Which means if it is coming to you in a delayed fashion, then it automatically means most of the time they will ask you a question. Why am I not getting this land? If it comes early for them, then the question will be what? There is a problem associated with this property. What should I do? Right. Again, we also need to keep this in mind. Mars is considered as the Mangala Karaka, which automatically means what? Delayed marriage or love marriage or they will be separated from the spouse for some reason or the other. Which means, even if it happens early, there can also be a change of Jati, Samudhaya or one one person will be in one one direction. They will get married for the purpose of earning, one person will be in one place. Which means anything which is late is good. Anything which happens fast, that is not good. Right. Let's say, I will give you an example. In Vrishchaka Rashi, there is a Mars. Right. So Mars is an own sign. Late marriage, bought land late, all of this is good. Late marriage, almost 34 years when this person got married. Now you may think that you know what? Vrishchaka, where Mars is getting into a bala, why is it that it did, not, it did not give a marriage? This is where the technique of astrology comes in the form of Bhataka. Why? Because when it gives late, it is good. All of them would say that you know what? 35 years you are getting married, there would be a certain amount of humiliation associated. That humiliation itself is good. Rishabha Mars, marriage 30 years, 
a person got for um, uh, a property in 40 years i would say 40 years is also not good 45 years above is good which automatically means when you see something associated with the badaka and when you see the graha associated with the badaka then automatically say about 48 45 years especially when it comes to property it is good let's remove this mas here and let's put it as lagna itself let's say the lagna is rishaba then what does it mean which means growth itself in life will be delayed if self growth is late it is good right when you're talking about the graha here, mas in stira, anything which is fast, anything which is quick in the form of property, why we are talking about the karakatvas of mas, property, land, motor, electricity, vehicles, marriage, all of this will be problematic for him. Why? Because for astira rashi, the ninth automatically becomes the badaka. Let's say, Stira Lagna. There will be two people who are born in Stira Lagna. Both of them will be working hard. But they will be earning in lakhs. But they won't have the growth that they desire. Why? Because when it comes to the Bhagya that you need, that happens late. If it gives you something very, very early, then it means after 45 years, you will have to go through what? You will have to go through some poverty or the other. I will give you another example. A person has a sun and mercury right, in Rishabharashi. So father, he went and did his higher education after 50 years. Which means what? The ninth which indicates higher learning. Father is going and proceeding with higher learning right, after 50 years. Which means what? It is giving delayed. Some people, what happens is, especially when we are talking about what? Stira Lagna. The first job itself will be a manager's job. First breakthrough itself will be a manager's breakthrough. But they will be in that same chair for throughout their tenure, for a longer duration of time. Why? Because for a Stira, the growth does not happen quickly. Next. When it comes to marriage, Combining Astira Lagna and Astira Lagna, which means Astira Lagna boy with Astira Lagna female, right, will create problems for childbirth, will create Putra Dosha. Or that girl will have problems associated with her Garbha Stana. It will increase or aggravate the problems further associated with the Garbhasthana. Because remember, as I already told you, for a stri who has a stira lagna, naturally they will have uterus problem. If you get them married to a boy who has a stira lagna, then automatically that problem will aggravate and there would definitely be a problem associated with childbirth. Next point you write down. For those who are actually going about and performing the second marriage, which means what? Somebody got married, divorced. Another girl also got married, divorced. Or something happened. For those who are going about with the second marriage, right, both of them having a stira lagna is considered to be very, very good. Is considered to be very, very good. So if you want to combine two people who want to get married the second time and they have a stira lagna, good. Why, sir? Because in third marriage you told no. Now second marriage you are telling yes. Because here the ninth itself, which indicates that second marriage itself is badaga, which means you are proceeding with the act itself with disgrace and humility. There would be some disgrace involved. There would be some humility involved with the second marriage. So that humility itself nullifies the dosha. Right. Again, stiram will create development at the later stage. That's it. Full stop. This is one word. Which means what? They will develop in the later stage and that will be good. That's all. Full stop. If they get early in life, then it means trouble. That's all. This is the only thing that you need to understand as far as Stira Lagna is concerned. 
if son is in stira lagna then it automatically means what the relationship with the father will not be good or they would be separated from the father each one one side right it could be for the purpose of education they would be with the grandparents something like that right why because son is the karaka graha for the father bhava ninth ninth itself becomes padaka will it actually become okay in the older age even in the older age the problem will subside to a certain extent but you will find families where you know what you would have the father staying with the son staying with the daughter right the father would go on complaining that you know what no uh, take me to and uh, put me into your put me in your brother's place put me in my uh, my brother's place my sister's place you are not taking care of me which means the only complaint will be even if you take care of them there will be complaint if you don't take care of them there would be a complaint right that is when son gets into a badagastana this would automatically be a problem for those who have that one they won't be able to take care of whom the father or even if they take care there would be complaints after complaints which means they would say i'm doing anything and everything that my father wants me to do but still i'm not getting that approval from him i'm not getting that attestation from him he's going on complaining forget about attestation he's going about 